At 3.30, we got our last 3.30 game of the guy day, guys, and honestly, not the greatest 3.30 game in the world, but we got Boston College, who is 2-4, and four, trailing over 13, Wake Forest, who is 6-1. and one. Wake Forest, they were at 20.5 points on the ACC Network. Phil Yurkovic uh, is 115-190, third for 1,335 yards, 10 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Pat Garwo, the third, on the ground, has 73 carries for 240 yards and 2 touchdowns, and Zay Flowers said 42 catches for 556 yards and 5 touchdowns. Sam Hartman through the air has got 99 to 153, thrown for 1,442 yards, 16 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Justice Ellison on the ground has had 81 carries for 396 yards and 3 touchdowns. And A.T. Perry has had 29 catches for 482 yards and 4 touchdowns. Boston College actually leads the series all-time 14 to 12. Last two games have gone to Wake Forest from 2019 to 2021. Last win at Wake for Boston College was in 2018. So, I think what's going to be really interesting about this game is obviously just Wake Forest trying to even up the series and stay playoff eligible. Wake Forest still has some tough games remaining, and while the NC State game doesn't look as tough as it used to without Devin Leary, NC State's still a formidable football team. Wake still has to play the Cuse. The Wake, um, I think those are the two toughest games remaining, but the Cuse is going to be a tough team to go through if you're Wake. And it's going to determine your playoff eligibility, not to mention if you're Wake, you either have to root for Clemson to drop two games, or you have to root for you to be the only one team, one lost team left standing that's not in the in a championship game, right? Uh, you have to hope to be one of the four playoff eligible teams remaining. So if you're Wake, you should be watching this game for sure. Um, but I feel feel like other games are also worth noting if you're a Wake fan, right? Because it will depend so much on uh, if, like, I feel like your playoff fate will deter is determined in large part by how other teams do and how other teams lose. Like, for instance, in the 330 window, you probably should be tuning into the texas Okie State game and rooting for Texas to beat Okie State. Uh, UCLA, Oregon's a tough one to debate if you're a Wake fan because, well, it would eliminate Oregon, you would still have an undefeated team in the Pac-12, and I think a loss to UCLA would do wonders for your playoff hopes. And then same, I think obviously you're going to be rooting for LSU over Ole Miss, giving them one loss, and then that way, you, you don't actually, your, your hope is not two SEC teams. Like, that's the hope, like, not three SEC teams, if I'm going to be honest. Your hope is that like, there's not that level. Like, if you have Ole Miss and Alabama both at one loss or whatever, when they play each other, one team's going to be eliminated. So you really kind of want that. If you're if you're awake, you're really tuning into a whole bunch of other games this week, kind of instead of your own. Um, I mean, you should be keeping an eye on it, and you, obviously you're going to want to watch your own team win, but really keep an eye on other games. It's going to really determine your playoff fate. Uh, if you're Wake, you really don't hold your own destiny in your hands. So watching the Clemson game earlier on is going to be hell is definitely going to be on Wake fans' minds. But uh, you don't hold the playoff fate in your own hands. So you're going to be rooting against a lot of teams this weekend. Anyways, yeah, I think Wake's going to win this one. They're they're a much better football team than Boston College. Boston College has really been floundering this year. They lost to Rutgers, and that's just not the greatest sign in the world. Uh, this is going to be at home for Wake. I expect Wake to dominate in this one. Give me the the Demon Deacons to win and cover the 20 and a half points spread.